Hi guys, this is engineer Chamu Soni and today I am going to tell you about the LCD interfacing. So firstly we will see what is the basic component which is requirement for this interfacing. Let's see. This is the development board. And this is the most important component, the microcontroller 8051. This is the Atmel company and this is a development board in which the microcontroller and LCD will be connect. This is the burner through which program will be burned in the microcontroller. This is the USB cable through which this burner will be connected with this system. And this is a 12 volt power supply. And this is the most important component liquid crystal display. It is a 16 cross 2 liquid crystal display. It's an electronic device which is used to display the characters or letters on this display screen. After this, we will see the basic pin configuration for LCD. Now you can see here the 16 cross 2 LCD is designed here in this board. It has generally 16 pins. First pin is power supply pin, second pin is ground pin and third pin is VSS which is generally used for the brightness purpose. We can set the brightness of LCD with the help of this pin. This is the important pin of LCD, red select pin. It Red select pin it generally consists two registers data register and command register now suppose if we want to give the command on lcd then we will set zero to this pin and if you want to give the data on lcd then we will set one to red select pin and the other most important pin is fifth pin that is the red red write pin this pin is generally used to read and write the data on the lcd if we want to read the data from the lcd then we will set 1 to this pin and if you want to write the data on LCD then we will set 0 to this pin. The another important pin is 6 pin is enable pin. It is a latch information to represent the data pins of the LCD. We will give the simple high to low pulse on this pin. Enable is equal to 1 then delay then 0. It means so you can see here the high to low pulse is shown here. Now we would switch over second step. The second step is the most important step. If we want to interface any component with microcontroller then we need a program. So we will see the what is the basic program for the LCD interfacing is right here. You can see the this is the basic program for LCD interfacing. This is firstly include red 51 This is the header file. This program is generally written in the embedded C language. It's a simple high level language. Then we will define three functions void command, void display, and void delay. Void command function, which is generally used to give the command on LCD, void display function will be generally used to give the data on LCD, and void delay function will be generally used to generate delay. This is the data port of LCD, which is connected with the first port of microcontroller 0 cross 90. It is showing the first port of microcontroller. The read select, read write, and enable pin is connected with the port 2.5, 2.6 and 2.7 of microcontroller. Then we will switch over the main function void main. The overall main program is written in this function. Firstly we are giving the command 0 cross 38. This command will be generally used to initiate the LCD. Then delay. Then we will give 0 cross 0 e. This is the cursor blinking command. With the help of this command the cursor will be blink on the LCD screen. Now command 0 cross 0 1, this command will clear the LCD, then this is a 0 cross 0 6 command, this command is used to shift the cursor in the right position, then we will give the command 0 cross 8 0, it means the data whatever will be written on LCD, it will be start from the first location, this is the first location of LCD. Then if you want to write a welcome on LCD, then this is a simple program to write a welcome, firstly the display the word W then delay then E then delay then L then delay then C O M E and after this void main we will define the void command function you can see here this is a simple void command function the unsigned character Z is defined to L data and read select and read write pin is 0 because we discussed if we want to give the command we want to write command then RW will be 0 then you can see here the enable pin we are giving the high to low pulse with the delay on this enable pin then this is the void display function this is the same as void command the unsigned character z is defined to l data and select pin will be 1 because 
we are giving the data on LCD. Then we will we will give again the high to low pulse on enable pin. Then after that we will define this delay function. This is a simple delay function. We will take this two unsigned integer i and j, and after this we will set the for loops for i and j. So my dear friends, this was our second step. Now we would switch our third step. Then in this step we will use the software in which the program will be written. So the software which is generally used that is for Kilu Vision software. The Kilu Vision is software is a software which is generally used for the programming purpose of 8051 microcontroller. So you can see the program is written here that is a simple LCD program. So for we need to hex file for this program. To create a hex file, we will go in target one and we will go in option. We will set the crystal frequency of 11.0592 megahertz, and we will go in the output option and we will create a hex file for this particular program. And we will click on OK. So the hex file has been created on the desktop screen. After that, we will go in proxy software. This is a simply software which is used to burn the program. Now we will, we are using a burner. We will connect this microcontroller in this burner and like this, and we will lock it. Then we will use then we will use this USB cable. With the help of this USB cable, this burner will be connected with this system. You can see here I am connecting this. So the burner has been connected. Then we will select the microcontroller which we are using. Suppose we are using a 889S51. Then firstly we will clear, we will erase the memory of microcontroller. Then we will go in file and we will load our hex file which is available on desktop and auto. So this process is running. You can see here this is the burning process. It means the program is burning on the microcontroller. So the program has been burned on microcontroller. So the hex file has been burned in this microcontroller. Then we will eject this microcontroller from this burner and we will fix this microcontroller in the development board. Then we will lock it. Then the important component LCD will be fixed in this development board. So the LCD has been fixed. Now we will use this power supply 12 volt adapter which will give the power to this development board. Now we will switch on the extension button then we will switch on the button. Now you can see here the cursor is blinking and the welcome is writing on the LCD. So you can see here the welcome is writing on the LCD. This was the simple welcome program. So my dear friends, this was the simple program of LCD interfacing. I hope you enjoyed this video. So if you want to learn this type of basic interfacings of other modules and sensor, so don't forget to subscribe my video. Thank you very much.